And now, it's certainly everything you'd expect in South Florida during the month of May. Lots of sun, but the heat is extra intense. Meteorologist Erica Delgado with what we need to know. Erica? And that's why the National Weather Service, as you can see behind me, has all of South Florida with a major to extreme heat risk here. Those the purples, those magentas, and the oranges that you see. And that's because it's not just the heat, but the humidity just makes these temperatures absolutely oppressive. Very, very steamy outside. And these are our feels like temperatures as high as they got today. 109 degrees is what it felt like in Fort Lauderdale. It felt like 107 in Hollywood and Kendall, even triple digits extending from Opelika, Miami, all the way down into Key West. But there were no heat alerts issued today just to not meet that heat advisory criteria. Here's where we're at now. 93 in Fort Lauderdale. We were rain cooled earlier from some storms that developed earlier this afternoon. Still 97 in the Hollywood area. We work our way into Miami Dade. 95 in Hialeah. 94 is extending from Miami into Kendall. Not seeing any relief and it's 4 p.m. already. 91 in Homestead into the Florida Keys. We're seeing a little more of those 90s. 91 in Key West. 90 in Layton Key and the rest of the island chain still stuck in the upper 80s with those feels like temperatures in the 90s and hundreds. Today uh, we've had several locations that tied records from previous years. Tomorrow we'll be on record watch once again for all of South Florida. But the heat wasn't the only thing going um, along. We had some storms develop across Broward County earlier this afternoon. Most of that has fizzled, just a few downpours along I-95. But we'll take a closer look at that plus what to expect next few days. That's coming up in my full forecast. 7's Vanessa Medina picking things up now live from Fort Lauderdale Beach with tips to beat this heat. Hey, Vanessa. Well, the good news is it was quite windy today, so we didn't feel that oppressive heat that she was talking about as much. However, it was quite hot and it is only May. And if this is only May and summer's around the corner, well, it's going to be quite the doozy. It's a spring heat wave in South Florida and summer hasn't even started yet. We are seeing temperatures in the 90s and it's only May, so it is quite worrisome. On Fort Lauderdale Beach Wednesday, the feels like temps experts say surpassed 100 degrees. My advice to everyone is definitely carry a bottle of water before leaving the house. Try to carry uh, an umbrella, a hat and wear lots of uh, sunblock before getting out in the sun. South Florida hitting record high temperatures this week, and it's the combination of heat and humidity that makes it dangerous. I just want people to be aware of the symptoms of heat exhaustion if they start feeling nauseous, if they feel like, you know, they want to vomit or they get dizzy, they start experiencing headaches, palpitations, um, you know, muscle cramping. They have blotted skin, very red skin. That means that they are suffering either heat exhaustion or heat stroke, and those are important signs to get them out of the heat into the cool. The hot temps triggering Miami-Dade's Homeless Trust extreme heat crews to hand out supplies. Water, sunscreen, IVs, all of the things that provide additional electrolytes in the water, Gatorade, uh, the various products that help people sustain themselves during oppressive heat conditions. This humidity is driving you crazy. There's no place to go. Air conditioning and staying inside is recommended, but if you have to go outside... If you're working outside, we recommend take plenty of breaks, get in the shade if you can. Also, don't forget to keep an eye on the most vulnerable. The elderly, they are prone to getting dehydrated more easily, and so are children, uh, especially they're out more in the sun, playing on playgrounds, and so uh, they are definitely at a higher risk. Also, it's important to remember your four legged friends. The pavement could be as much as 20 to 30 degrees, 30 degrees hotter than it actually is outside. So make sure you keep them and walk them in the early hours or in the late evening. Reporting live on Fort Lauderdale Beach, Vanessa Medina, 7 News.